let's take a moment to think about how we say the names of very, very large numbers. Imagine for a moment that you're reading a newspaper article about the national debt. Now, as of the time I'm making this video, this is the amount of the national debt. In order to say the name of this number, I'm going to need to, to mark the groups here, right? I've got units, thousands, millions, billions, and trillions. So the name of this number is 19 trillion, 513 billion, 903 million, 425,313. But the newspaper isn't going to have the name of that number in the article, right? For one thing, the name of that number is really hard to read. In fact, by the time you've gotten to the end of the name of that number, you've forgotten the most important part. What's the most important part of this number? The 19 trillion part of this number is the most important. Once you've got 19 trillions, the thousands don't really matter that much. So what's the newspaper actually going to say? 19.5 trillion. Notice Instead of putting in a bunch of zeros, they actually wrote the word trillion. And notice also, to indicate part of a trillion, they gave you a decimal. And finally, notice all these digits after the five, the newspaper rounded them away because they're just not that important. This is a very common way of naming large numbers, right? By rounding them off and then using the name of the largest group involved. So to name a number this way, first we identify the largest group involved. And then, depending on our application, we either round to that place or one place to the right. And then we express our number as a whole or decimal number of trillions or millions or billions. All right, let's see an example of following that process. It sounds really complicated, but it's actually really simple. As of this recording, the population of China is this number. To say its name, I'm going to mark the units the thousands, the millions, and the billions. So the largest group is the billions. This number is 1,383,571,251. If I were writing a newspaper article, though, so the largest group is the billions. So I would say some number of billion people. And depending on the tone I want in my article, I could round to this place. Uh, that's probably not satisfying. This place or this place. I'm going to choose this place, round up to four, and I'm going to say 1.4 billion people. If I encounter a number that looks like this, how do I translate that back into a numeral if I want to do arithmetic to it? Suppose that someone tells me that when they're at their closest, the distance between Earth and Mars is 54.6 million kilometers. If I wanted to write that like a number I could do arithmetic to, well, I would think about my groups, right? I've got millions, and then thousands, 
and then units. So that 54 is going to go in the millions group. And then think the decimal point lines up with this comma. So then right after the comma, I'll have a 6. And then I need to fill in all the remaining places with zeros.